Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Tillamook ice cream. I have the old fashioned vanilla, the vanilla bean. And I have the utterly chocolate. These were $5.99 at Meyer, and our Meyer is just now uh, starting to get Tillamook. This is not a brand that we've had in our area. Kevin and I have reviewed it in the past, so you could do a search Tammy Dunn Tillamook and it'll come up. Uh, we have, we do have the ice cream bars at Kroger, mm -hmm. but uh, the ice cream sandwiches, but we don't have the uh, containers and I don't know if it's just simply because of space or what, but we have reviewed some of these. We had bought them in the past at Jungle Gems International Market in Ohio. So it's nice that we're finally getting them here. Aren't they the ones that make the cheese and all the butter and all that yes, kind of stuff? Yes, and there? we They're do just have now that starting to get well. No, not that long ago. Right. So Kroger does have cheese and stuff like that, <laughs> and Ashley loves our daughter. She loves their cheese. Mm -hmm. um, we haven't tried it to be honest, uh, but uh, it's nice to see the containers. I truly think is it, at least as far as our Kroger, it's about space. Mm -hmm. We have a smaller Kroger. Um, and and they, I don't think they have room for, for these big containers. Um, but this is the Old Fashioned Vanilla. It is rich vanilla ice cream made with our special blend of the very best vanillas. 210 calories for two thirds cup. There are nine servings in the container. This is made in Oregon and it does have a seal. I do have to say our Kroger though has more ice cream than Walmart does here. Yes, our Walmart. Our Walmart's sad. Oh, it it really, really is. You would think Walmart would be a great place uh, to go get ice cream. Not the local Walmart. Our local Walmart is uh, it's lacking yeah, in the. The one in the next town over is a bigger Walmart. It has plenty, but the one here. The one here, you're not never gonna find anything new here. <laughs> That's a really nice little. I love vanilla ice cream anyway. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. If you look at like just a plain vanilla, mm -hmm. that's excellent. Yes. Plain, no frills. Mm -hmm. That's Kevin. Kevin loves. I love vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. You know what though? But back when I was a kid, you could add all the stuff to it. So right. that's when I really fell in love with like vanilla, but now I just eat it because I like it. <laughs> Given the choice though between vanilla and chocolate, I'm going to pick vanilla too. I'm going to pick vanilla all day long. I mean, truth be told, I'd rather have a, something with mix-ins in it, you know, with, you know. Of course. Chocolate swirls and stuff like that. But if I'm just picking a basic ice cream, it's going to be either vanilla or strawberry. Uh, okay, this is the same calories. Sure. This is the vanilla bean. And it is rich vanilla ice cream made with real crushed vanilla bean seeds. And you can see the little bitty flex. I don't know if it'll show up for you in the camera. Are you trying to show? The bottom was just white. I mean, it's I white. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if you'll be able to see these flex, but I will have a picture for you. There we go. I will have a picture for you at the end of the video so that you can see it close. Yeah. Up close. That one's just like a, an off white, like a cream color. Some people absolutely just don't want the vanilla bean. I personally like it. I like that extra oomph of flavor. What do you think? He's being forced to go back into the regular. <laughs> you know what though, truly? They're very, very similar. You could, if you wanted to buy, if you had like a partner that only wanted vanilla and you wanted something else, you could get one of those bags of Ben and Jerry's. They have the cookie dough, the flavored cookie dough in the I'll bags. Throw it in there. And throw it in there if you wanted to. Um, they're so similar to each other. They really are. I do taste. You can tell that's vanilla bean. Bit, I can yeah, absolutely tell the difference. Yeah, for me, it's it's vanilla bell. I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. Honestly. So, so you have no preference? Mm -mm. No, either one of them is good. Really? Yeah. Okay. I don't think there's enough difference to me. I, mean, I like, like them both very, very yeah, much. Yeah, they're both very good. Um, I would take either one of them. Honestly, with a piece of cake, I would probably just rather have the regular, the regular vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. 
because uh, I don't need that extra, but if I'm having it by itself, I think I would rather have the vanilla bean because it does have the extra. Yeah, see, extra. I just don't, they taste almost exactly the same to me. Okay, this is the Utterly Chocolate, a pairing of rich chocolate and white chocolatey ice creams with delicious chocolatey bits. White chocolate. Bits. It yeah. is 230 calories, so we've gone up 20 calories uh, for the serving because we've added some chocolate and the chocolatey bits. And you can see the chocolatey bits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like little chocolate chocolate flakes. There we go. I like that it's uh, both chocolate and vanilla. Or not vanilla, but white chocolate. Now I have just chocolate here with the bits. Yeah, I can do that. That's delicious chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. And the bits are teeny tiny little chocolate chips almost. They're, they're terrific. They're, they're more, um, they're not squishy like a chocolate chip though. They're like almost crunchy. Now I know I said I would choose vanilla, but I changed my mind. Well, but this is... This is, this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It is very good. Did you have just the white? No. <laughs> it's not vanilla. It's different. They could make a whole gallon of just that. <laughs> it's almost marshmallow-like. It is. I like the chocolate part the best. Um, With the little, <coughs> little pieces. As much as I like the vanilla, I really, really like the chocolate mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's like, <coughs> we Sorry. both said we would pick vanilla over chocolate. I take it back. I would pick that. <clears throat> that is so good. It's Most... such a terrific flavor chocolate. It is. It's a, it's a good chocolate. It's not a... Most chocolates I would choose vanilla over. That's a little different because it's a very rich chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, almost like you're drinking a hot cocoa. Like a yes. hot chocolate that's cold. Um, that, no, that, that was a great way to describe it. <coughs> if hot chocolate. That is what it tastes like. It's very it's creamy. It's milky. It's, it's mm -hmm. smooth. I love the little chocolate bits in there because like I said, they're not like... It's not like a chocolate chip where it's mm -hmm. kind of like a just firm chocolate. These are like crunchy little bits. Almost, yeah. Almost cookie like, but not quite cookie. It's, it's almost it's, like they grated it or but grated it's chocolate. Yeah. It, it's it's different. It's just very but good. But this isn't your cheap chocolate ice cream. No. This isn't your birthday party pal chocolate ice cream. It's not like that. This is a, a level above that. Mm. That is delicious. It's very good. Honestly, all three of these are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And five ninety nine, I think, is a, a very fair price to yeah, pay. Yeah, because of Ben and Jerry's for their pints are that, that much. Yeah, this is a one point five uh, quart, uh, so I absolutely think it's worth mm -hmm. the money. Oh yeah, 100%. but if I only had six dollars to choose one, it would be the other utterly, utterly chocolate. It would be me, me too. Yeah, so that that's interesting. Uh, but I'll have a picture for you at the end. We did buy more, so we're gonna have more reviews coming. And thanks for watching.